Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hello. Hope everybody's doing well. We hello. are. Hello. Hello. Gonna see cheek, cheek. if we are live. Sometimes Facebook acts kind of crazy and tells us we're live when we're really not. <laughs> Anyways, today we're gonna craft. Okay, hey, let's listen, okay? This is. My name is Michelle. I'm with Modern Mom Life. This is my daughter. How old are Tell them how old you are. Three. She is three. And she is home from spring break this week. So and yesterday you're going to be four. <laughs> you're not going to be four yet. So no, we, yesterday. Yesterday you were four? Okay. But today you're three. Is that what you're saying? Me. That's interesting. Um, so we've had a lot of time together like, for spring like, break. Like, like. And some Summer. days are good, and some days Summer are crazy. Baby. Okay. Mom and the baby. Okay. While I'm talking, you don't talk. Okay. Are you talking? Mom and my birthday. Thanks for the heart. I was a kid. Hi, Sandra. I was a kid from a one. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna paint. And God bless then us. I got four. Hi, Keisha Bye. from Australia. Thanks for joining us. Um. <laughs> I'm very brave to paint with Reese because sometimes she gets a little crazy and a little messy with her painting. That's why I got her an apron and she's wearing the same shirt that we always wear when we paint because who cares if it gets dirty, right? So for, for today's projects, you just need to grab some Q-tips, cotton, forks, uh, white paper, and some washable paint. Washable uh, paint. Some uh, what are these called again? Clothes pins. And Clothes please forgive pen. me. I am 29 weeks pregnant. I, I'm losing count. Second child here. So I sometimes have pregnancy brain. That's what I'm blaming it on. Hi, hi Sandy. We've got another Sandy from California. Can you say hi? Hi. 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 Oh, thank you. You love painting with your girls. How many girls do you have, Denise? And what are their ages? Let me know. So this, so our first craft we're going to use some washable paint. Hi Sarah, thanks for joining us. And this I ordered on Am. no, I got this from Hobby Lobby, but you can get this anyway. Hobby Lobby! Hob Lob, shout out, hello from Kansas, hi Kelly. We're from Texas, have you been to Texas before? No. No? So for this first project we're going to use some green paint. Yeah! Green paint. And some white paper, right? White paper. White. What color is this? Tell me what color. Green. Green. Good. Good. Okay, so let's see. Of course I would pick up the one paint. Hi, Danielle, that has a cap on it. Oh, good grief. Let's hope it works. Sometimes I... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm terrified to paint with my girl. She would be a mess. Yes. Let's go lick. Sometimes it does get very messy. That's why I bought the washable paint this time. Um, whoa, hey, watch the tablecloth now. We're gonna, so grab your washable paint. Fort Worth, hi, hey. Tanya. I'm, I'm from uh, North Texas, up near Fort Worth. That's where I was born and raised, was Fort Worth. I love Fort Worth. Can I use Hi, this? Tim, thanks for joining us. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down to our level a little bit. Um, right now I've just got some green paint. She's probably going to do her own little thing over there because that's just what she does. Um, and that's fine. She's having fun. So get some white paper and we're going to make tulips. Yes, washable is good. Even though, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'll, oh my, <laughs> well, the camera just fell on us. Oh, live TV, you know? Let me, let me unplug this because it's weighing it down. How funny. Okay, let's bring it back down to our level. <laughs> okay, so for the tulips, we are going to draw the stem or paint the stems. And, you know, I'm not Bob Ross. Mama, I'm making you. Oh, cool. Thank you. She's kind of doing her own thing, but I'm going to show you some things that you can do. Um, she's three, so keep that in mind. Uh, maybe the five and up crowd will listen to instructions a little bit better than mine. So right now I am painting the tulips with just a regular paintbrush that you can get at any craft store or Amazon. And you know, like I said, I'm not Bob Ross, 
but I'll try, right? <laughs> here's some here's some leaves. You could even use um a Q-tip if you don't have paint brushes. Hi from Germany. Hi Gina, thanks for joining us. Dab, get your paint, dab the Q-tip in, and then you could Oh, that's nice. See? You could use a Q-tip, maybe a little bit more paint. If you don't want to get the paint brushes dirty, and you can just throw the Q-tip in the trash afterwards. She's she's drawing her own little thing over there, and that's okay because she's having fun, right? So I'm gonna paint some tulips. The, that's the the greenery there, and now we're gonna do the fun part. Hi, Mona. Looks like a leprechaun. It does look like a leprechaun on hers. That's very smart. Hi Cheryl from Canada. Thanks for joining us. Get a fork. Any fork will work. And we're going to paint the tulips. So what we're going to do is dab. Um, she's super focused. I know. I should Maybe I should paint with her more often. This is the quietest she's been all day. Let me bring this down just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. My equipment's acting crazy. Bring it down a little bit. Okay. So I've got some red right here. Look at mine. I'm gonna cover the fork with it. See what I'm doing? Covering the fork. Mom, where's the green go? I'll get you some more green. And then I'm going oh, to red. pop it like this. Or place it, pop it. Well, you get the gist. It looks like a tulip with a, I used a fork. Mom, can I have red now? Yeah, you can have red. Can I have mix? Okay, and I'm going to use another fork for a different color. Let's do a p purple can, tulip. Can I have purple? Yes. And I love tulips. They are so beautiful. I wish they would last a little bit longer. Um, but sometimes, you know, I guess sometimes they don't. So there's another tulip. Using forks. Okay. Different fork for different colors unless you want to mix them. Um, if you're like me, you might be a little OCD, <laughs> but you know, kids love to mix paint, so you may have to get over that OCD. Mommy is an artist. Oh man, I wish I wish I was like Bob Ross. My sister, she can paint. Now that girl can paint. Uh, I got the. I can paint to some degree, not not as well as she can. So tulips with green paint, washable paint, and then we did Look, you're in the back some forks. Paper. So just get some forks and some paints. And let's see, what else can we do? Okay, so another household item that you could use, cotton balls, right? And a clothespin. So just get a clothespin, do it like that. Maybe we want some clouds in the air. Do we want some clouds? Although I don't have blue. So let's do let's do the sun. Let's do the sun. Why don't we do that? If you don't want to use a paper plate, I I found these at the dollar store today for a dollar. Uh, six for a dollar. So you could go to the dollar store and find this if you wanted. Let me let me use it and see what it does. Three uh, thanks for sharing, guys. I always appreciate when we share. Sharing is caring, right? That's what we teach our kids. <laughs> so right now I've got a cotton ball swab clothespin and I'm going to dip it into the yellow paint and I'm going to make a sun over here. Would you like a sun on yours? No? Okay. And you could use a Q-tip again. I'm going to borrow her Q-tip dab it in there like I said these are really cool dollar store and draw little lines this would be great for preschool classes teach them about spring get to use their fine motor skills you got any preschoolers or any kids that love oh egg cartons too for paints that's a good idea that's genius we go through eggs like crazy so I may have to do that so there's one example. Let me turn it your direction. If you have paper, you have paint, forks, tulips that your kids can make. I know this looks like a kid painting, doesn't it? <laughs> Mommy did it. My daughter's over here 
painting her own little thing, which is fine because she's very focused right now. So that's one item um, I ran across that you could make. Um, another one, uh, this isn't really spring related, Mama. but, oh, oh, you're getting some paint. That's okay. Let me get you another piece of paper. How many of you guys, um, paint with your kids? No, Mama, you I want another? Done. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to give you another because paper. Because I want to do grass coloring. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I do not want to mess with your artistic expression. <laughs> Can you have some paint in here? Yes, you to may. make everything. What that... color would you like? Uh. Pink. Pink. What are your kids' favorite colors? Do they have a favorite color? And the color purple. Purple. Washable paint. Thanks for joining us, Illinois. Oh, thank you. I said it with an S. I didn't mean to. Illinois. It's Illinois, and not red, Illinois. Mama. Red, red, red. <laughs> and green. Okay, let's paint with those, and then we'll see where we are. Oh, I'm going to do these colors. Okay. I'll We're do... painting with household items if you're just now joining us. Um, this one's not working so let's do this one. I'm about to show you another easy craft you can do once I get her all set up. Let's try yellow. Yellow. Woohoo. Purple, pink, and green. Here, blue. And a two pink and the first purple. Okay, we already have pink and purple. Oh, okay. uh, no, no, no. I want to them. She's very um, bossy sometimes, which I always joke and say, that's her leadership skills, you know? <laughs> One day it'll pay off, right? I hope. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see some of the comments. Hello from Albania. Nice. Um, it's okay if it gets on you. It's washable. We are from Texas. Have you, have, have you guys been to Texas before? Um, Texas weather changes in a blink of an eye, so if you don't like it one day, um, it will change the next. That's how we do things. Okay, so up next, I'm going to, I haven't tried, I haven't tried this craft yet, so bear with me. I just saw it on the internet a while ago, and I thought, hey, why don't we make this? Well, we'll see. So grab some aluminum foil, and it's gonna, there you go, aluminum foil. We're going to wrap a heart that I already cut out. Well, no, I'm not going to lie. I didn't cut, cut this out. It's already pre-cut. I'm all about saving time, you know. So, we're going to cover it. I guess I could. So, let's cover the heart. So, that's a little bit big. Hello from Nebraska. Spring weather, and now you have 10 inches of snow. Oh, my goodness. You know, how do people keep, like, different closets of winter and summer clothes? Because in Texas, we really don't have seasons. It's like all and this no stuff. And no snow. We don't have snow. We didn't have snow this year. We had snow flurries one day. So right now I'm covering this heart with aluminum foil, right? And the lighting's kind of crazy. Nebraska. Oh, yeah. We didn't just read that. So right now I'm covering this with aluminum foil. No. You, you could cut out something yourself, but okay, so there, there's that. Let me grab some permanent markers. Or you could probably use any marker, but I'm gonna use permanent. I know I went from washable to permanent. I must be insane. <laughs> Let me bring you back down. Canada. Oh, you never put away winter outdoor clothing, I'm sure. Canada, so you have the prime minister that it, everyone's talking about, huh? That everybody thinks is good looking. I keep seeing all these funny memes. He is cute. Uh, but it's just funny, you know, how people are. The memes just oh, come out of the heart. Heart. And then, you know, you got the giraffe that still hasn't had her baby um, yet. So I cut this out. I covered it with aluminum foil. And I have some permanent markers. And Reese over here, she's just painting. Justin, yes, yes. He is cute. Um, but Okay, so you could have your kids just color on top of it. So the aluminum kind of makes it look metallic. And this is a heart. You could do this with the Easter egg shape for Easter. And I know it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, so I'll pull it up. And again, I am not like the best... Um, draw Bob Ross or you know but 
your kids can make, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting. You see how there's some metallic marker right there? Let me find a color that's a little bit more bright. Maybe that one, purple maybe. Do you want to color this for me with a marker? Oh, you're still painting. Okay, she's still painting. So we're just painting with permanent markers, aluminum foil. Um, this is cheapy aluminum foil, so it's kind of wrinkled, but let's say, let's say, let's do some more lines. This would be really cute for Easter eggs, shapes, shamrocks for St. Patty's Day. If I was really prepared, I would have had a shamrock for you guys. But we're on spring break, so it's a little crazy in this house. I'm not getting my usual work done, but that's okay. You know, everybody tells me that kids grow up fast, and I need to cherish these moments. I had a lady today tell me that at lunch. She said her kids are now 13. They were three yesterday. And I believe that. That is true. So I'm trying to live in the moment and not take it for granted. But it's hard, you know. What, what's that saying? That the, the days are long, but the years are short. She's doing a good job. Thank you. She's not using aluminum foil. She's still painting. She's making a little collage over here. And it, it really looks good. I mean, that looks real good. And I'm just making a heart with different... It's, it's kind of hard to see because of the paint. But um, what is my daughter's name? Her name is Reese. Oh, for the painting. You have her paint on the aluminum foil. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Okay, so she... Wow. This Can is... I make an other one? Yeah, you can make another one. What do you want to make? Uh, I'm going to... Like, I'm calling Daddy. <laughs> okay. Daddy. Thanks for still hanging on with us. Here you go. Do you want to put aluminum foil on that and see what it does? Or you just want to paint the white paper? Uh, I want to do... How old is she? No. She... Reese, tell... Tell um tell them how old you are. It's brown. It's brown because you mix the colors. She's three. Um, she'll be four soon, and we'll have another baby boy in the house come June. Um, Look, he, he still doesn't have a name feet. yet, but Look, we're getting there. It's bird's feet. Bird's feet. Cool. So how many kids do I have? Mama, I have three. I have three kids. I have a um, preteen boy, and I have her. Mama. And I have a baby boy on the way, and we have a Labradoodle named Dax. And he is a kid to me because sometimes he acts crazier than the kids do. <laughs> hi, Heidi. Thanks for joining Mama, us. I want to try water. No, no water. So, okay, so just Yeah, to, yeah, I want to try water. What do you mean you want to try water? Because I want to put this in there and see what it does. Oh, good grief. I don't know if I'm ready for water yet. Please, well, let's, please, well, okay. Please, please, please. Okay, where's the little cup? Go get a little cup, oh. and I'll get you some water that you can dip in it. I brought them in here. I don't know where they are. Anyways, I'm just rambling. I'm so sorry. That's but, I put it in there. but sometimes when you have a toddler, or she's not a toddler anymore. God, that, you grew up fast. That, I guess you're a preschooler. You kind of, your brain kind of just like. That's you know, please. <laughs> don't have a cup. So, so I'll use that. Okay, let's recap what we did today. Mommy. I'll get you a cup in a minute. Here, I'll put some water in this. Oh, I'm so brave. I'm so brave. Okay. If I can do crafts live with this kid, <laughs> you can too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Or not live, but you can do it. It's okay to get a little messy. We got to get over that fear. I have a brother that's four. Four is a great age. Everybody keeps telling me four is a really good age. So Let's they're independent. They're a little bit independent. They're coming up with their personalities. Um, it's just fun. Let's try to so let's recap what we did today, because today was a little bit low-key spring. We, um, we made tulips using forks for the tulips, the flowers, the petals, and then, yeah, her, na her name is Reese. Look, I want to make pink, look. Yeah, you're blending colors, good job. Um, we use Q-tips. To paint Mom, the can, I have a, can I do other water? Let me, let me wrap it up and I will. Um, a cotton ball for the heart. Q-tip for the rays. And then we I also... Need some more water. We just, I need some more water. Okay, okay I'll get you some in one minute. And then have further water. Okay, hold on. Okay, there. Oh, mommy, I'm 
I'll get you a little bit more in a minute. Then we covered um, a die cut heart with aluminum foil and painted it with permanent markers. This would be good for kids that just want to draw and doodle. They could color it all a little bit more um, to make it a little bit more bright and colorful. Um, the cotton balls, just no. if you missed that part, we got cotton on a clothespin and just dabbed it. So that was fun. So you have stuff around the house that you can use. You just got to get a little creative with it. Are you ending this soon? I think so. I think we're down to the wire here. We're, we're just painting. So so anyways, um, um, grab some. Can some more rotter and marker? Yeah, in a minute. I'm, we're going to wrap it up. So anyways, um, thanks for joining us. Spring um, crafts with household items. Come on over to Modern Mom Life, um, our Facebook page. We do a lot of other things. We made slime the other day. We made Play-Doh out of peeps. If that. you've ever had peeps, it's the Easter. Okay. I'm not fun of you want one of the markers? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we like to do fun stuff and over I'm, there. That's a different name. Can, My niece is named Nikki. Oh, hi, Doreen. And this one? And this one? Okay. okay. Shh, 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 shh. We got a lesson. Nope, Who? Is anybody else on spring break or not really? We had a really early spring break. Okay. No, that's good. That's a lot of water. I don't want to spill it. Hi from the UK. I have a boy three. Aw, take it easy. Good luck in June. Thank you, Rita. I will definitely need that advice. Dublin, Ireland. Leslie, thanks for joining us. I hear it's beautiful there. It's on my list of places to go once I knock out having these kids and can go traveling a little bit more. And cause um, your kid too. Well, yeah, I'll bring some kids. I'll bring you, maybe. No, you kids. My kids? Mm -hmm. Well, you are my kid, Goofy. No, well, I got your rest of kids. Oh, my rest of my kids. <laughs> oh, she cracks me up. She says the funniest things. All right, all right guys. Well, thanks for joining no, in. No, no, no. I know. We don't want to leave, but we have to. They got to go. They got other things they want to do. Charlie, oh, I love that name for a girl. She turned three. Oh, three's a fun age. Challenging, but fun. Um... So anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling on. Um, go back and watch the replay if you want to see what we did today. Simple crafts with paint. Nothing too complicated. Perfect for preschoolers and for ages 6 and up, I would say. 12-year-olds might be bored with it, but they're bored with a lot of things. So Except for slime. They do like to make slime. So, Alright, well thanks guys. Have a good day. Do you want to say bye? Bye. No, look up and say bye. Bye. Three dangers. Yes, yes. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.